St. Louis is on the verge of slashing the number of city wards in half. The first round of primary voting is this Tuesday. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, caught up with incumbent alder persons who are running against each other in a fight for their political life. Mark? And they're calling it alder Geddon. The city is cutting the size of the Board of Aldermen in half, doubling their workload and their paycheck. And it could be a rare chance for Mayor Tishara Jones to consolidate political power, especially if she can use some of this competition to settle scores with some of her political rivals. But it's kind of an entire reshuffling of the deck. Early voting is already underway at 12 locations across the city open to voters in any ward. The voters do have a lot of questions, uh, are confused about where they sit. You know, so voter, a voter, like for example, I used to live in Ward 13, now where I live is Ward 1. The reduction of the Board of Aldermen, which I think is an enormous opportunity for the city of St. Louis. Really Alderwoman Kara Spencer is one of four incumbents facing a challenge from a candidate backed by Mayor Tashara Jones. I was disappointed that she decided to get involved in the race, but hey, it's politics and um, I feel good about uh, I feel good about the voters in the 8th Ward making their own decision. Jones is backing Missouri House Democrat Rasheen Aldridge, too, as he challenges Alderman Brandon Bosley and James Page. I'm used to taking on incumbents. Aldridge criticized their votes to block the mayor's plan to divert capital funds from wealthier wards into poorer neighborhoods. We have to do it in a way that we're uplifting folks that have historically been left behind. We anticipate that when the new board comes in that we will bring back up uh, a bill that will do equitable distribution of board capital funds. Board of Aldermen President Megan Green wow. stayed out of Spencer's race but in five other wards backed the same candidate as Mayor Jones, including in taking sides against Alderwoman Sharon Tyus in her race against a newcomer. We need to push the funding where it needs to go where we can have a more equitable advantage in the community. Tashara Earl represents a younger generation challenging Tyus, the longest serving member of the board who publicly clashed with Jones in recent board meetings. And I see that there are still vacant buildings. I see that there are a lot of potholes in the street. I want to do something for that and about that so that our residents can feel safer when they're driving down the street. That's Jones has promised to revitalize rundown parts of North St. Louis, St. Louis, but so the far road. there's vacant homes after vacant homes. It's just blocks of decay, blocks of streets that have not been paved, blocks of streets that don't even have sidewalks. The sheer scale and size of the city's problems keep piling up, pressuring members of the Board of Aldermen to deliver real results soon. I want to see that Rams money spent uh, now. We have an enormous challenges downtown in North St. Louis. I want to see that money be put in to our communities in a transformational way. Alder Geddon already claimed 10 casualties, if you will. 10 incumbent aldermen decided not to run again, but nearly 40 other candidates are on Tuesday's ballots. Only one of those 14 seats is uncontested. That means when polls close Tuesday night, the top two candidates in each ward will advance on to that general election on Tuesday, April 4. We've put together a voter guide for Tuesday's primary. Just text the word guide. To 314-425-5355, we'll send you information on polling hours, what you need to vote, and a sample ballot.